consider we have created an Azure SQL managed instance with an authentication method of uh, use only Azure Active Directory, Azure AD authentication. And after uh, the managed instance is created, uh, let's consider we are uh, trying to uh, log into uh, Azure SQL managed instance uh, using an SQL um, authenticated ID and it is not working. And now uh, if we want to uh, uh, try changing um, the authentication method for uh, Azure SQL managed instance from use only Azure Active Directory authentication to use both SQL and Azure AD authentication, that is something that uh, needs to be performed from the Azure portal. So uh, we will be looking at that, like how we can do. So right now, this uh, uh, managed instance that we are looking at is uh, using the authentication method of use only Azure Active Directory authentication. So let's look at the uh, at this particular managed instance. So if I look at um, uh, this managed instance and I go to the security here. Yeah, what I'm seeing is like the server authentication. Uh, it is disabled and it is basically telling like SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. But in reality, since it is disabled, uh, this has got no control over it. Uh, so uh, uh, what we will do is like we will try creating an uh, uh, SQL login and then see if we are able to uh, connect to the managed instance. So let's create a um, uh, test login. Uh, and then let's uh, create it as an uh, sysadmin. So let's uh, do that. And then what I'll do now is like, I will basically change it to SQL authentication. And then I will try the test login. So uh, we are getting this particular error. Cannot connect to this uh, Azure SQL managed instance. Login failed for user test reason. Azure Active Directory only authentication is enabled. So right now we have decided like we're gonna use uh, both um, uh, Azure Active Directory and SQL authentication. So we will have to basically uh, enable SQL authentication. But the problem is like when I look at the uh, uh, security tab of um, uh, this managed instance, this is kind of grayed out. So I'll not be able to change anything uh, here. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to uh, go to uh, 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 the Azure portal for this particular managed instance. In my case, it is JV iPhone, dist MI iPhone, pry iPhone, SI. So let me get into that. And then what I'll do here is like, I will go to the tab called uh, Active Directory Admin that is present under the settings tab. So yeah, we have an option here basically, which tells like Azure Active Directory authentication only. And uh, only Azure Active Directory will be used to authenticate to managed instance. SQL authentication will be disabled, including SQL managed instance administrator and users. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to uncheck this particular option. So if I do that, it's basically going to tell disabling this option will enable SQL authentication. Would you like to continue? That is yes, yeah and then I'm going to save it here. So it is saved now. So let me uh, go to something else and then come back to this one. Uh, Active Directory Admin is no longer having uh, this particular option checked. So now what I'll do is like, I will try connecting to this particular uh, managed instance using SQL authentication and then see if it is going to work. Let me try the test login. So now I'm able to connect to it. So this is the way how uh, you will uh, uh, enable um, um, Azure Active Directory as well as SQL Server authentication by unchecking this option. If you just need Azure Active Directory authentication, you basically have to check this up and then you need to save it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.